Some big news involving Amazon founder and world's wealthiest cage-free egg. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. Bezos. Bezos' feud uh, is with a longtime friend of Donald Trump, owner of the National Enquirer and out-of-uniform nutcracker... <laughs> David... David Pecker. Last week, Jeff Bezos accused David Pecker of blackmail and extortion. He claimed the National Enquirer had obtained messages between Bezos and his mistress, Lauren Sanchez, and they threatened to publish his sexy texts, or sexts, as well as sexy photos, or sexotos. <laughs> but for once, the man who took pictures of his own junk took the classy route. Bezos refused to give in to the blackmail in a blog post titled, No Thank You, Mr. Pecker. <laughs> Which is exactly how I feel about seeing Jeff Bezos' penis. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you, but no thank you. How kind. How, ge how very generous. Here's a, here's a little backstory. Last month, Bezos announced that he and his wife of 25 years, Mackenzie, were getting a divorce. Days later, the Inquirer published a front page expose that included pictures of Bezos and his mistress and embarrassing text messages like, I love you, alive girl. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm not sure about a live girl. I'm not sure what that yeah, means. Alive is not a pet name. Yeah. <laughs> it's really a prerequisite for dating. That's why you never see a candy heart that says, you're breathing. <laughs> now, Bezos was understandably upset and wanted to know how they got all that private information, so he asked his security team to investigate with whatever budget they needed to pursue the facts. And the budget already found somebody. The brother of Bezos' mistress, Lauren Sanchez, Michael, a Trump supporter who is friendly with Trump world dirty trickster, Roger Stone. Oh, but come on! Would Roger Stone really stoop to a phone hack or blackmail? That would take away valuable time. He could spend bulldozing a dog orphanage in a Disney movie. <laughs> when? <laughs> when word? I'll get you dogs. When word of this investigation got back to David Pecker, he was apoplectic about the investigation. Yes! Okay. Pecker was so angry. <laughs> His head turned purple and the veins were popping out all over the Pecker. <laughs> I'm telling you, throbbing veins. Uh, uh, I don't want to see that. Peabody, please. <laughs> the National Enquirer decided to blackmail Jeff Bezos in writing. Mm. So Bezos turned around and published all of their emails. The emails claim the photos include a shirtless Mr. Bezos wearing his wedding ring and either tight black cargo pants or shorts and his semi-erect manhood is penetrating the zipper of said garment. Okay, that's pretty bad. I would not want a photo of me out there wearing cargo shorts. <laughs> they also threatened to release a selfie of Mr. Bezos fully clothed. Wait! How is that blackmail material? Fully clothed? Is he wearing a shirt covered in pictures of his penis? <laughs> the Inquirer threatened to publish the pictures unless Bezos publicly stated that the previous story in the pictures and texts were not politically motivated. But Bezos wasn't having it. In his blog post, he writes, Well, that got my attention, but not in the way they likely hoped. Which is exactly how people feel when they get a d peck. <laughs> you have my attention. I'm calling the police. <laughs> Bezos suspects the blackmail was political because he owns one of Trump's most hated newspapers, The Washington Post. He wrote, It's unavoidable that certain powerful people who experience Washington Post news coverage will wrongly conclude I am their enemy, calling his ownership of The Post a complexifier. <laughs> I think Jeff Bezos just redefinified <laughs> a brandastical new word to <laughs> Still, in a story that contains the D word, uh, pecker, semi-erect manhood, I think the best euphemism for penis is complexifier. <laughs> it does... It does make things more <laughs> confusing. <laughs> and Bezos isn't fighting back just for himself. He explained that he'd heard from other people who'd been blackmailed by David Pecker and the National Enquirer and wrote, 
If in my position I can't stand up to this kind of extortion, how many people can? Wow. I got to say, that kind of puts me in a weird mm. place. Because I'm not used to rooting for the billionaire. Mm. Mm. Except Batman. Yeah. Or, or Black Panther. Wakanda. Wakanda. Or, 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 or Iron Man. <laughs> it's only a matter of time until Bezos reveals his superhero identity. Alexa Man! <laughs> Quick! Quick, Alexa Man! <laughs> Alexa man, I've been robbed. He took my money. Now ordering broccoli rob and the best of the monkeys. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, the salacious photos still have not been released. So if you're wondering what the penis of a man who owns his own orbital rocket company might look like, you'll just have to make do with this. <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight.